Hello and welcome back to the 55 Buick Special POS Build. Uh, not a whole lot going right now, just lots of wiring, so not a lot to take videos of. This is basically just for my own placeholder, I guess, in the build. So you can see I'm just in the middle of stringing wires, routing wires, uh, figuring out where things are going, tying things into factory switches as possible. I'll explain on that in a minute. Uh, fuse boxes mounted up under the dash there. We got the uh, brake switch in and a lot of wires I have to uh, tie in to things. Um, found a light switch in the box. One of my boxes of stuff that will work there on the dash because I have decided keeping with the theme of this car I'm going full piece of shit interior. Sorry, but that's just the way it's going to be for now. I had plans on pulling the dash and painting it and doing all kind of stuff, and I still want to do those things. But right now, this car is going to be a POS, and I love it. So I'm not taking the dash out. I'm not even going to paint it. I'm just going to wire some switches into it, wire gauges wherever. Probably put the factory gauges back in where they were, but... Speedo is not going to work, but that's okay. And I'm not really going to care. I'm going to put the uh, original panels back in the car that are in horrible shape. And other than probably putting um, blankets over the seats, this is pretty much going to stay as it is for an interior. And I'll come back another time and make an interior. I keep forgetting that this car was not supposed to be a full restoration. I wasn't going overboard. So I have the wiring, you can't see because the light's not on, but I have an intermediate harness running from the front to the back. And now I get to do fun things like taking the factory lights apart and putting new sockets and stuff in there so that they actually work. This is going to be a really short video this time. Uh, I was going to make a little thing on how to uh, replace the lamp sockets on these older cars, but amazingly enough, I took the lens out, the bulb's in there, and there's no corrosion anywhere. Looks mint. Same with the reverse light. I had to replace the lens. Lucky I had one left laying around, but same thing. Bulb's in there, no corrosion. Check this out. We got a little power and we got a reverse light we got a running light and we got a brake light and a turn signal look at that <laughs> I just have to thin out that Monte Carlo taillight harness and route it through here and I gotta hook in my uh, my missing license plate light that I got off of eBay Get that working, and then we'll have some wires done back here. So this is, yeah, going to be a real short video. Well, I was doing good. All the taillights work, all the reverse lights work. Uh, license plate light, no work. So, uh, took it apart. I think that's self-explanatory, just some screws. And there was a bulb in it, but it's very corroded. The socket's all rusty. And uh, in these older cars, that's your ground. So that's not gonna work. So I gotta replace that socket, just not to worry about it. I bought a bunch of these on uh, Amazon for cheap, just replacement sockets. They're dual filament for 1157 bulbs, but that doesn't matter. They'll work with a single filament bulb as well. This is a uh, number 89. I just found in my drawer. I gotta see if I can find another one. This is not the exact bulb that came out of there, but it'll work. Fits, just tie the two uh, leads together because those are gonna be for power and it'll work. And I gotta put this in there. So it looks like, yeah, it'll be just about like that inside there. I got to get the old one out first, and I think 
I'm going to unibit it out and see if that works. This had, uh, this lamp housing here was put in with these two bolts. And uh, even heating up the one it snapped, I had a feeling it was going to. So I'm not even going to try to take this one out. I'm not even going to attempt it. I'm just going to drill out the, the center of this socket. If I can, let's see. Right, Unibit got me most of the way. I got to clean it up with this carbide bit here and just get the last bit of that socket out of it. Almost there. Just got to keep filing it out with this until the socket fits into this guy nice. All right. Fits in there. Good and tight. I'm going to grind this down to bare metal here. Put this back in at a height where I can still get the bulb in it. And I'm going to put couple tack welds on the bottom here just to make sure I have a good ground to the housing all right there we go we got a light bulb sealed up the back with the, the butyl tape electricians call it monkey snot you can use RTV whatever it's just to keep water from getting in there and corroding it and then for the lens sits in there like that I think yeah oh that's why you can see where the gasket failed on the back of this I'm gonna use some uh, of my uh, let's say heating foam tape with the sticky side back and wire wheel this housing up a little bit clean that up use some of that insulation foam tape to make a gasket Put it back together, and I should not have to worry about this failing again. All right, so I just sprayed a little uh, silver paint in there to try to give it a little bit of reflectivity. I actually think white works better than silver, but I don't have any white right now. So I'm using more of my uh, foam tape, just cutting it into strips, making a gasket. Because we're doing a Concours restoration on this car. And I don't want to have any points deducted for missing my gasket. Because sometimes they'll look. There we go. That'll fit like that. Put the cover over it. look at that we got a working reverse light and i'll actually power it up and prove it to you all right there is our newly renewed reverse uh, reverse uh license plate light uh any c's on all the screws obviously because i'm amazed it came apart but i want it to come apart if i ever need to take it apart so look at this it's alive First time since the 70s. Sweet. All right. I got one more to do. All right. So I'm just going to end that video here. Um, wiring isn't the most entertaining stuff to watch, I'm sure. So that be said, when I come back with a new video, all the body wiring will be complete. And I'll show you what it looks like. But other than that, I think I'll just wait until we've got some... Uh, real progress to show that's actually might be entertaining wearing not so much all right we'll see you on the next one anyone want to go for a ride in a go-kart <laughs> not much left of this one
I buy this junk? Well, Z code 5.3 Gen 4 rods. It's a 2005 with 145,000 miles. Rusty frame. That's why.